How is it going boys and girls? Welcome back to Key West Waterman. My name is Aaron Young. One of those days I have off um, from charters, so it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna cut, run around and do a mahi episode. Um, I was gonna sleep in, but my body wakes me up early regardless. So I'm gonna run around, look for floaters and birds and see if we can catch some mahi and show you guys one of my favorite recipes with them. I'm out here solo today, Madeline's working. Um, so I figured I'd come out and have some fun. Hit the like button and uh, subscribe if you're not already. Let's rock and roll. So I found this little floater on my way out. A um, little bit of life on it, so I'm gonna drag a lip lure by it. Maybe we can get lucky, we'll see. Oh, there's mahi all over it. Actually one decent one. Actually one nice one I just saw, it looked like a bowl. Well, something ate it. Just a little guy. Hoping for a wahoo, but this is the last fish you want to deal with with multiple hooks. There we go. He's still got plenty of time to grow. Pull back over there, see if we can. There was one nicer fish actually. I don't know if you can see them, but there's a bunch of mahi circling around this thing. Throw them a few squid, see if they'll eat. kind of took off so there was one bigger one when I drove by I could see it small ones I don't catch a lot of mahi I'm not too concerned about catching a small mahi or sinking the boat in them but it's not often I get a nice gaffer We're just throwing a little squid jig and I'm Mahi like the chase, so I'm just ripping it across. Oh, here they are right here. They don't seem to want. Oh, that one wanted it. Yeah, just another little guy. A decent, decent bull following him around. Hopefully you can see this. Plenty enough to keep, but like I said, I don't need it. Not what I'm out here for. Go on and grow, brother. I 
Maybe I should jump in and hand select one of these. See if I can pick out the bigger one. So I'm gonna hop in, got a nice piece of debris floating. Um, could hold Wahoo. Saw a decent sized mahi on the surface, but I was having trouble. The small ones are picking at it. So if there's a nice bigger one, I'd like to harvest that, let the little ones grow a little bit. I'm gonna dive in and see what we can see. So I actually forgot my mask mount. Um, so I'm gonna have to hold it with my hand to see how this works. These fish seem very mellow. I'm gonna approach them real nice and slow. Kind of a crappy shot, so I'm gonna have to be careful here. A little low in his gut. I don't want to pull this. I don't want to pull this fish out. I might have to put the camera down. really bad shot. I shouldn't have shot from the surface, but I did try to hot shot turn a hot shot with the camera. So I'm gonna baby this fish as best I can. Let him kind of tire himself out here. Uh, if I pull on him it's gonna pull right through.
was worst case scenario. I'm out of here. As I say, not as I do. That was really dumb. I just showed you how quickly that could have turned bad. <laughs> Check this out. First stop of the day. Beautiful mahi. Lots of small ones. I don't need more than that. Try and get you in the sun here. So quite frankly, that is more than I need for the week. Um, lots of mahis around. It's funny, sometimes when you only need one, you see tons and tons of them. But um, that's all I need. I'm going to turn it towards the barn. Again, look at me. Do not do that. Never dive alone. That was probably one of the dumbest things I've ever done. I just have a serious problem. When I see something cool like that, I have a hard time not jumping in. I had intended on catching these rod and reels today, but um, a lot of amazing divers have lost their lives diving by themselves. It's a dumb idea. Don't do it. That was very irresponsible of me. Um, take it from me. But uh, I'm gonna take get this back, get it flayed up, show you guys my favorite way to eat mahi. I'll see you at the dock. I'm back at the house. So I think I've been flaying mahi probably longer than any other fish on the planet. Um, this is just kind of a smaller bull. We haven't been seeing a ton of big mahi the last few years. And I think one of the big things I always see is um, skin pull versus no skin pull. A lot of people um, like to pull the skin off. I'm one of those people. I've always done it that way. Um, just recently within the last few years, I've noticed a lot of people are skinning the fish with a knife. Um, I haven't noticed a big difference in it. I'll be honest with you, but I'm, I'm a skin puller and I have been my whole life. So pretty much I just score the entire fish. I'm not going real far back because Mahi's kind of a soft, delicate fish. If you go too far under the bones, um, you'll take off more meat than you need to when you do this. So it's a little easier on a bull because that little headpiece pulls right off. Um, try and just get as much as you can. Normally I'll put my finger in the eye. Pull straight back. Um, a lot of a lot, what, what the claim is that you don't get this kind of stringy membrane on top, but when I cook it personally, I don't notice a difference. So do as you prefer. And kind of just going straight down the back here. These are very straightforward, in my opinion. Um, I had a conversation with one of my clients the other day, and they were just asking me about my knives and stuff, they uh, assumed that I wanted the sharpest knife on the planet. And uh, I told them, quite honestly, I don't really like an extremely sharp knife. I like a, a knife that just has a decent edge, but uh, not too sharp. And the reason being, if you have a, a knife that's too sharp, you cut stuff you're not supposed to. You'll cut through the ribs, you'll cut through the, or the, uh, I guess that's considered the ribs, I'm not sure. But you'll cut through the backside of the fish onto the other side of the fillet. Um, if you have too sharp of a knife, so I like a knife that's been dulled down just, just a smidge. And their uh, their rib bones are pretty, pretty small, but that's why I keep a serrated around. Oh, that came right off. There we are. Take that little bit of rib. Pin bones, just a little inside of halfway back. And 
And there we are, the elusive Mahi Mahi. Uh, a lot of people don't like the bloodline in this. I actually don't mind it. Um, maybe that's just because the way I was raised, but it's a Mahi steak. Get that upstairs and um, make a sandwich. I'll see you there. All right, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to eat mahi. I'm not gonna run through the whole recipe. I already made this sandwich. Just kind of want to show you it. it's very straightforward. It's kind of a nostalgic thing for me. I've been eating these my entire life, pretty much. Absolutely love them. Um, and other than a mahi taco, I think you know mahi taco is kind of hard to beat. It's kind of the go-to for everybody. But this sandwich is one of my favorites. So a uh, chunk of black black and mahi. Always use Paul Perdomes. This stuff is almost like a family tradition. We've been using it for so long. Uh, potato roll, lettuce, tomato, black and mahi with melted pepper jack cheese on it. That is hard to beat. Straightforward. If you like mayo, put mayo on there. Ketchup, whatever. Whatever tickles your fancy. But uh, that's all I got on this one. Again, I cannot stress enough how important it is not to dive by yourself. I've been kind of in a moral dilemma on whether or not to release this footage. And I, um, I almost didn't. And I've kind of talked myself into it because I want to show that no matter how much time you spend on the water, how much experience you think you have, uh, we still do make mistakes. I made a mistake. I made a bad call. Um, and I, I want to share that. And I'm, I'm a little embarrassed about it. But if anyone learns a lesson, um, and maybe you know I can save somebody's life, hopefully, do not ever, ever, ever dive alone, please. Um, and thanks so much for your guys' time. Uh, keep the ideas coming. Hit the like button for the YouTube machine. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Later.